Lies are always sexier. Unfortunately, I've had enough this week to last me a lifetime. I hired you to investigate my wife. Investigate her for what? For not minding your own business is for what? For having a big mouth is for what? For asking too many questions is for what? You better be careful following her example, Billy. I might have to hire someone to investigate you. Yeah. You're good, man. I'll give you that. You got it all worked out, huh? Perhaps that's why the people keep electing me, Billy. When I go and I vote for somebody and I expect them to, to you know, take an oath in office and, you know, to try to, to do the right thing and, and uh, keep their promises. It's a, but, you know, power is a very, very dangerous thing. A lot of people are corrupted by it. When you're making a film like this, after you've made a film, say, like The Other Guys, which is a kind of comedy version of a lot of the cop thriller tropes, is it difficult to come into a film like this and then take it seriously again? Well, or the opposite, you know, taking the, the I, I just, I have the same approach, you know? I have the same approach whether I'm doing a comedy or a drama. I try to make it as real as possible. And when it's a comedy, hopefully the laughs will come from the absurdity and the commitment of, to whatever the situation I'm in is. Uh, but I always have the same approach. You know, I just try to find the truth in it and, 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 and tell the truth. You have an envelope of photographs that I paid for. When you called, I didn't think it'd be for something like this. There's a scene where your character uh, watches his girlfriend do a, a sex scene with another actor, and I just wondered if that time with you personally, have any of your family and friends ever been disturbed by a sex scene or a violent scene that you've ever done? Uh, well, certainly my wife doesn't seem like to see me portraying intimacy with, with another actress, and if, I, if the shoe was on the other foot, I certainly wouldn't like it at all. I don't like, I don't like shooting those kinds of scenes. But uh, it's every guy's worst nightmare. And there was another scene in the movie that was actually cut out where my character was at, kept, kept grilling her about it. What is it that you do? I want to know before I see it. And she was like, oh, it's very tasteful. It's very artistic. You know, it's, it's nothing. It'll be fine. And then, of course, I see it, and I'm like, fine. She's just getting banged from behind, and her hair pulled like she's on a, you know, the, the guy's riding her like a horse without a saddle. Yeah. Not good. But I love that moment. And that, the moment after I choke him and leave, you know, when I've started drinking again, we just kind of threw that in there. That wasn't in the script where I'm kind of like storming through the streets and fighting with people and breaking shit, throwing stuff. And and because uh, I wanted to see what this guy was like and what he was capable of if, if he came unhinged. Mm. So no matter how much you disassociate yourself from the part, i.e. you're an actor playing a role, it's difficult when it comes to kind of very primal things like that to separate yourself from it, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I knew every guy in the world would be able to relate to that. It must have been tough filming Boogie Nights. You know what? It wasn't then because I was 25. I didn't care. You know, I didn't have a wife and four kids, and I threw caution to the wind. <laughs>